Welcome back, my dear viewer. You came to the right place at the right mother effing time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. There is no clickbait. Hold on. Testing. There is no clickbait absolutely whatsoever. Coke is legal. Yep. And not only that, you know, Coke, obviously, you know, it's a family tree. You, um, educational purposes only, I do not recommend you ever. Not for real, as a brother, not just disclaimers. You don't need that. If you're going through it, battling the addictions, I pray that you get strength to um, abandon and break patterns that are no longer serving you. There's hope for everybody. Don't keep listening to, you know, there's hope for everybody, man. But with that being said, we got some news today. And you came to the right place at the right time. Okay, because here, it's us. Here on the channel, I keep it real. I keep it all the way real. Which is, um, you know what they say, real is rare, so. I'm going to tell you what I think, but first let's hear the news. Cause it sounds like clickbait, huh? So a BC cannabis company says it has approval from Health Canada to include cocaine as a substitute for the cup, as a substance that the company can legally. Now watch this, but pay attention. I, would need, I need you to pay attention to what they're about to say here. Holy, not for real, pay attention, look. So, it has approval from Health Canada to include cocaine as a substance. The company can, and this is the best part, legally, boom, legally do what? Possess it. Mm. Produce it. Hmm? And distributed. Oh, hey. Now these are these are these ain't light words, okay? You telling me they can now legally possess, produce, sell, sell, I forgot to sell, and distribute so they can do everything I've been arresting people for for God knows when. You mean to tell me what you I was doing, remember? Crab all. Now who's doing it? A company, legitimate people, business people. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Bobby. I run a cocaine company. Yes. Uh, What's the show? King of the Hill. I sell cocaine and cocaine accessories. Ha ha ha. Huh? Now, even though I'm here trolling and clowning, and I have some words I'm about to say to Justin Trudeau, I also got to be fair, man. I am the type of person, I'm going to give credit to you, even if we enemies. For example, if my enemy was Young Thug, hypothetically, I would still give him credit where to say, hey, he has beautiful music. You know? But speaking of Young Thug, right? Check this. Justin Trudeau. I see Justin Trudeau trying to, you know, basically... Hold on, let's let's read more before I dive into this because I got something to say. So, so Adastra Labs. Oh, sounds like a dark website. <sighs> Woo! Said it has been granted an amendment to its dealer license to interact with up to two fifty crowns. Mm. Nearly nine ounces Hale, to import coca leaves to manufacture and synthesize the substance. It said it had it received uh, it, it said it received its approval from Health Canada on February 17. Critically important and mainstream topic, and we are staying on the forefront. Da 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 the, uh, to you know. He's saying basically we gotta stay in the forefront. 
of the regulations. We're going to be law abiding. We're going to be good people. But we can sell go. <laughs> Man, I'm jealous. Let me get in the game with you. Are y'all going? Because I tried to open a cannabis company when legalization first happened. When I chased the idea, I realized that not everybody get licenses to do so. By the way, look at my hair. And the licenses are reserved for, or you know, they only giving them to a few people. I don't know what you got to do to be one of them few people, but I'm here YouTubing telling you news, so obviously I can't afford it. We proactively pursued the amendment to our dealer's license to include cocaine back in December 2022. We will evaluate how the commercialization of this substance fits in with our business model at Adastra, an effort to position ourselves to support the demand for a safe supply. Now, I ain't going to get into the rest. That's none of my business, this Ivan. Here's what I'm here to say. Coke. As a previous user, a part-time abuser, I abuse it, I'll tell you. You know how in, in the movies they used to say, Coke is a devil or something? Or it's a hell of a drug? Listen, it is a hell of a drug indeed, my brother. And that word is not to be taken lightly. You might laugh at it, but if you ever do become a habitual user, eh, you can feel it about to take over, yet you're so hooked that you can't break the pattern. I hope that you don't ever, heh, that sentence is going to flash in your head. You're going to remember me. But hey, the kid was right. I got to be honest. It sounds crazy at first, like, damn. Yeah, legalize Yola. So who you about to do business with? Colombia? The Gulf Cartel or which one? I heard about the couple that got kidnapped. The Americans that got kidnapped by cartel. While well, they went on a trip to get a BBL. I don't know. Check Hassan's video. But anyway. Here's my take on it. Make it quick for you. The war on drugs has been the biggest failure, and it has been leading to this epidemics of drugs. Because YOLA always been around, but it didn't take over and create. Because uh, uh, let's, let's stop playing with each other. I'm not going to give you beautiful lies here. You get ugly truth, as ugly as it can be, too. So you can, so you can face it. and You got to face it. Tough love. Some of you have bad trips on psychedelics because you say you have things in your mind. And then you take the psychedelic and now you got to face it by force. So it becomes a bad trip on you. In case you were planning a trip and you're an adult, you know, I'm talking to adults here. Education only. It's better to face your for your stuff. Let's not run away from the problem and keep adding problems. Because I've seen a guy on Facebook who seemed to disagree. Personally, I'm going to tell you like this. I think that, I personally think, bro, this ish been legal for how long now? But sorry, illegal for how long now? You know what happened? Or what the... Illegalization has achieved because if the goal was, I don't know, I'm trying to take off my. If the goal of making it illegal was to, ooh, excuse me, was to deter people away from it, I'm sorry to tell you that, that we have not reached that goal. In fact, we've done the opposite, and it became illegal, making it cool, forcing more people to use it. And of course, let's not pretend to be stupid because, you know, shout out to the good people in the government because I have no issues with no government, but I criticize. If 
for example, even though everybody in the conscious community, God bless y'all, talking about the declassified CIA documents about telekinesis and stuff, which is beautiful. I can't take away these good stuff, but I can't forget about who put crack in the black neighborhoods. And you didn't put it there because it was uh, good for for them. You put it in with malicious intent, CIA. So that's that's not okay. So you know, if you're you know one of them people who's in the government who feel like laughing at it, like it's funny, like haha, yeah, we did that. F you and words. It's not so funny when the president's son. If, Shout out to Hunter, you know, I don't contest. I've been Hunter at some point in my life, but again, people are going to do it regardless. And when we make it illegal, we're just creating a prison system, feeding it into it. A prison industry that's profitable creates criminals. Lock up a bunch of innocent people sometimes for stuff that's not really crimes by nature and you end up with people who go to crime school like you hear about them and people who get locked up they have to join a gang forcing more white people to have to fall on the area come on bro like what are we doing might as well make it legal and control safe supply because i don't know people be hitting it fent and whatever and you take away the stigma, less criminals around. And these people, most of them going through it, are not criminals. They're just sick, man. Battling demons. Can't even tell you about the demons out of judgment. Because you want to be a D-word head. Mother F, let them get help. And that's taxes, man. They're gonna, they, he, the guy disagreed. He said he's going to be a narco state doing business with Colombia. So what? So what? Take, take the violence out of it. The only reason the drug trade is so bad is huh? Because there's violence in it. When you make it legal, you take away the violence. You feed more families. You put food on more Canadian people's tables. Eh, you're going to get more tourism. By curious Americans and others. Less ODs on the street. More resources. More money for resources. Not for Bill C-11, Trudeau. I'm trying to stay positive today, not think about it. Trudeau. I support that decision. This is my what I this is my take to the haters. It sounds crazy at first glance, but then again, we all know some fiends. So making it illegal didn't stop it. It just made it more dangerous for people and less resources available. We're going through Canada's not bothering like the U.S. After this pandemic. Business been slow. Economy been slow. Let the people eat, but maybe limited to BC in some areas. Slowly test it out. Don't just make it legal everywhere. Even though out here, I think there'd be more resources available to help addicts too, obviously. So, but they don't have a lot of money because even nonprofits profit. <laughs> so people in it for selfish reasons. All right. Focus a lot on the resources and making it legal takes the cool element out of it. So in the next future generation, you'll be less. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this is this is gonna take a lot of violence out of it because there's no longer war with people. People are shaking hands and doing business. 
morality, you want to talk morality? Go look at, go ask why a blind guy named Julian is, 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 is about to be prosecuted. He got light on and charged with treason or whatever else. Go. God forbid, man. He didn't get your support. And now Trudeau trying to put industry plants over me using C11. But I don't care if it was C for Crip. I'm coming up. All right? And I need your help. So if you want to make you laugh, I make you enjoy, entertain. There's more coming where I came from. Hit the like button. Smash subscribe button. Stay away from drugs. If you're going through it, don't let the judgment of others F with you. You know what's best for you. Sometimes we lose control and get in patterns of, of, of habits, of, of use or whatever else. Just know there's hope for everybody. I just want you to know that. That hope does exist. And there's enough of it for everybody. Never too late. Love you. Be safe. Documentary's coming. Album out. All right. Leave a comment, too. Just help me. Come on, man. Let's grow. I grow. I drop more. Oh, I didn't say that a lot this episode. Hale. Even the cock is legal now. You should see the package in this like. You too, I'm trying to be cool and I'm peace.